We've been looking at Formula One development over six decades of Grand Prix racing here at Silverstone. This week, it's the 1990s, all V8 and V10 normally aspirated. This is the Benetton B192. Last race by my then teammate, Michael Schumacher, in the 92 Australian Grand Prix to second place. Let's see how it feels 16 years later. Well, 90s Formula One was, um, was an era really dominated by Michael Schumacher. There were a lot of technology is still there. And in fact, some of the technology that we use in the 90s has been banned, so it's actually less te technologically advanced. Each decade seems to have its colour, and I think, the, I think the 90s was about Michael Schumacher, quite honestly. And you're looking now at Schumacher's car from the rear-facing mirror of Ayrton Senna's McLaren. And this surely is it. Yes, past goes the Benetton, down to fourth position, down to fifth position goes Ayrton Senna, because Schumacher and Brundle both slide through. OK, let's see how this Benetton B192 feels out on the track, a car that Michael Schumacher won. The Belgian Grand Prix, this particular car finished second at the Australian Grand Prix in 1992. There was the beginning of an era where Michael Schumacher, Ross Brewer and Rory Bird would work together for tremendous success. But the car immediately feels like meeting up with an old friend again. The position of your hand on the wheel, the shape of the monocle is all so familiar and particular. That's uh, Schumacher third, Martin Frundle, a magnificent race driver, and into the pits now to change cars comes Schumacher. Martin Frundle goes up into third. Very sound of that, Cosworth AP, very distinctive, lots of torque and drivability. Through Brooklyn, a little bit of oil steamer, with these slick tyres, I can live with it, it's great. This, this is the car I finished, third at the finish Grand Prix. He was quicker than me to clear, but when you're doing the same lap time. The British Grand Prix of 1992 is go, and Mansell straight on the power. Patrese alongside him, the, the Italian has again outdragged Nigel Mansell. He leads into Cops, and Martin Brundle has passed Schumacher, and Martin Brundle has made an absolute blast. This car was always easy to set up. The harshness of the engine, the crispness of the gearbox. No traction control of these little babies. Oh, great. I feel like I can drive this all afternoon and just get faster and faster than that. And happier and happier. Well, nice to meet you again, my friend. The cars were relatively simple, elegant and effective. Groove dry tyres were introduced in 1998. Engine revs headed to the stratosphere. Electronic and aerodynamic technology would surge forward relentlessly into the new millennium.